Well, it never ends, does it? No, we've got a water leak. So you come outside here, and found... Here, let me, first off, I come outside and see here it's dry. Here's all the wet. And then when I crawl underneath the rig, I look and there's nothing but water dripping. I don't know if you can see that. See how wet that is? Look at the drips. Lots of water. So then we go inside the basement. This is all wet. All the way through there, it's wet. Halfway down through there, it's wet. Water pumps right here, where we had the new screen put on it, thinking, okay, maybe this is leaking. Nope. While I'm inside the basement, Lori's out here. We had our ice maker taken out of the freezer because we didn't want it in there hooked up. So this was the ice maker hose and it was shoved down inside here. And when they clipped it, they cut, cut it off. However, can you see the water spraying out of that thing? I don't think you can. I don't think it's picking up on the picture. Look at the water coming out of this. You can see the drip. This is amazing. So there's our leak, our water leak. Evidently it's been doing that since we got here yesterday afternoon at 3 when we hooked up the water supply. So I'm going to try to cinch it down. Nope, that didn't work. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it spraying. I have to get a dark background. Yeah. Hold it up against the battery. Yep, there. Now you can see it. Water spraying all over the place. We need to find out where the shutoff valve is because it is what shorted out our furnace. furnace. Yesterday we realized we had a problem with the furnace. It was going click, 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 click. And it was water on the circuit board that I did not notice because circuit board is like upside down yeah and it had just started leaking so we didn't see a lot of water but it's soaked today the furnace is completely uh -huh. soaked there's water inside the mortar there's water inside this there's water on this camera water on the circuit board water inside the motor there's water down here i mean this this whole compartment is flooded <sighs> so is our basement yep so this is the hose that they had con that was connected to the ice to the, maker. Uh, the refrigerator ice maker and they capped that off but didn't shut off the water to it we don't know where that shut off is. is but it's not in the back of the refrigerator unless it's in a secret hiding place maybe Maybe, but we don't know where it is. So maybe they didn't know where it was either. The guys that did it. <laughs> so anyway, we're waiting for a call back with some kind of a uh, guesstimate of what to do, maybe. Fun, fun, fun. Hey, it's an adventure, right? Another one, yes, uh-huh. We like adventures. Yeah, but we were looking, trying to figure out where the water was coming from. We had them fix our water pump because there was a leak at the screen. Uh -huh. So they replaced all that, fixed yep. all that. And then looking like right behind this water compartment, Here. there's no water right there. And the water coming from underneath was coming like directly above the furnace, you know, right below the furnace area. And it was like, okay, so what, water source do we have there and so I opened up that compartment and started pulling the hose out and as soon as I pulled it out it sprayed me right in the face there's got to be a better way instead of just putting a bolt in the end of it or a cap like you said there has to be a shutoff to this hose yeah because eventually the water is going to break through somewhere there has to be a shutoff there should be no water going in that hose because we don't even have the ice maker anymore Mr. Wizard, help me! So I want to see if it's just a bolt that was put in 
to this thing. They just screwed it in there and there's no plumber's tape on it. Maybe that will help. Maybe not. Maybe. We're going to try it, turn the water back on, see if it stops it. Put that on it, put the clamp on it, and then maybe even put some of this magic blue stuff. Magic blue stuff. Magic blue stuff. Kind of like a magic pill. Ha ha ha. No, it comes in all kinds of colors. We just happen to have blue. <laughs> but I, heard, I heard that. Whatever. <laughs> but it's, um, oops, not that. Oh, maybe I don't have the package to it anymore. All right. Well, I've got magic white stuff. <laughs> You've got magic blue stuff. Putting it on the right way. Oh my God. I'm just asking. You know you have to go with the threads, otherwise it undoes it. Yes, dear. At this point, it can't hurt it. No, it can't. And they probably had no idea that it was going to do this no. because the water was never on when no. it was <laughs> when it was being worked on. There was no way to test it. It wasn't hooked up to to water. And even with the water pump on, that's not going to do it. Let's see. I seriously doubt that's going to work. <laughs> but like you said, can't hurt anything. It can't hurt to try at this point. And for right now, what we do is we just leave that thing hanging outside. Okay, here we go. Give it a whirl. Give it a whirl. <laughs> When's the last time you heard that? Give it a whirl! <laughs> Standing in front of that. Yeah, no. I already got sprayed in the face when I took it out of the compartment. There's no water. No water. Like no water, Oklahoma. No water, Oklahoma. Well, that's what I call a temporary fix. Yeah, let's. That's leave a T it. fix. A Tom fix, a temporary fix. Let's get a bucket and we'll put it underneath it with it hanging out yeah. and see if um, any water comes what, out of it. Leave the water on. What seriously scares me is it has ruined the circuit board for the furnace because it is soaked in there. <sighs> okay. All right, let me go get a bucket. So, did we did we go to Costco? We went to Costco. Went to Costco to not really stock up, but get a few little items. Yeah, we'll get some meat and stuff. And when we go, we always get a rotisserie chicken. Thought we'd get a chicken for tonight. And I cut off this side, and it's not too bad. And then I cut this, and it is not done. Uh -oh. It's disgusting. It's a that. raw Costco chicken. Yeah. So, oh well. so much for not having to cook tonight. Time to nuke it or fry it? Um, I don't know. Nuking's faster. And we did get this so I wouldn't have to cook tonight because we've been dealing with the water leak issue <laughs> all day. Okay, let's uh, nuke it. Yeah, I think so. I'll just cut up small and yeah. Well... Your husband's an idiot. <laughs> so I've heard. <laughs> hey!